welcome. Today we got an exciting one with Power BI plus Northcraft Analytics plus your chosen enterprise application for IT such as ServiceNow, BMC Remedy, Netcool, HP, UCMDB, and the list goes on. You can view them on our website, uh, partial listing. Um, we're going to show you some of the advantages of using Power BI with Northcraft. As you know, Northcraft is presentation layer independent, so you can use Excel, Tableau, uh, Power BI, Cognos, MicroStrategy, Business Objects. Um, what we do is we build the plumbing out, the ATL, the data warehouse, the cubes with all of the pre-built measures, key performance indicators, doing all of the kind of the um, ugly behind the scenes BI work that makes it easy to create visualization. So you can see how easy it is today. Um, and I want to highlight some of the new features of Power BI. So um, we have a live connection now. Uh, that's new for Microsoft. Live connection to analysis services. It's HTML5, so it renders well on a mobile device. Uh, it has full key performance indicator support, which not all of the uh, presentation layers do. Um, you have the ability to do data mashup, so I could take incident management, CMDB, event management, modules from Northcraft, and, for example, create a relationship between them where I show a CI, and it's related to incidents and events, as an example. Um, so you have mashup capability. You have uh, automatically linked visualizations. Let me show you how that works. I think it's uh, easiest to just show it. Okay, so we'll look at some of the common um, KPIs here. We'll take a KPI card. That's an out of the box widget. Okay, and then uh, it needs a value and a goal, but it also needs a uh, trend. And for that, we'll use a, a date. Uh, so we're going to use the date. This is the actual day. Okay, you can use month quarter, year, week, etc. Okay, so that's KPI number one. KPI number two is going to be another common incident management key performance indicator. Okay, so we'll go with um, percentage of incidents resolved by help desk, value, goal. For a trend, let me do something different. We'll show you by month. Okay, um, and then for our third KPI widget, we'll go with... Uh, uh, let's do percentage of incidents reassigned. I think that'll be a good one. So percentage of incidents reassigned. They go in alphabetical order. So value, goal, and then we'll do that by year just so you can see you know, the different ways you can uh, have these KPIs work. Okay, so we're at 37.6%, which is above the goal. This typically in, uh, indicates that you're working with kind of a complex an IT organization that works on complex types of technology, not just desktop support issues, for example. So we might have a high concentration of that here. Okay, next I'm going to link it to a tree map. So we'll use our tree map visualization, which is you know, popularized, I think, by Tableau, really. And uh, okay, there we'll do something uh, simple. We'll use a measure, not a KPI. We we'll use our you know, closed incidents, okay? And then so we'll use closed incidents. And then we want to show that by, you can show by anything, assign group. If you have a thousand IT groups, this is a great visualization to use. Uh, tree maps are great when you have a large series. So we'll do, um, you know, product name as an example of that. Um, you know, this could be subcategory or CI in ServiceNow. Um, so let me do uh, product name and make sure you move the product categorization tier one, tier two, tier three. Okay. So again, what I like about this is that this is a, um, a large series, so um, it goes beyond what a bar chart could do effectively, and you may have seen one of my presentations on that. Now let me show you the, the linking that I was talking about, okay? So now it looks we want to look at our aid Active Directory issues and our KPIs in relation to those, so I click it, and bam, they adjust immediately. Uh, PeopleSoft, want to show the KPIs there? How cool is that and how fast is that? Um, I was pretty blown away by this. Next, I want to show the incident details that are related to what I click on. So we'll use a, um, you could use a table or a matrix. I'm going to use a table to make that happen. Okay, so here's our table. And this is where you can start dropping in those detailed fields. So we'll do things like incident number, priority, status, 
really whatever you want. And I, I want to uh, you know, hide some of this detail here. I don't want to put every single field in the world on there, but um, you can you can choose any field you want. That's the key. And so when I click now my visualization, I'm going to look at my AD issues. Bam, 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 bam. They all show up. Uh, so I could have you know date filters here uh, at the report or page level. Let's do that. We'll have a page level filter for let's call it um, uh, you know um, do by year. Okay, drag that in. It's our page level filter. And then let's say we want to only look at incidents for 2013. There we go. All the data adjusts. You can do it for group, for date, for anything can be a filter. So uh, these filters are easy to use. The widgets are automatically connected. Um, just uh, the KPIs, everything is automatically connected. You can make the connections more granular with a little bit of work, but what's out of the box uh, to me is already uh, just really impressive. Um, so I want to give a quick tour of Power BI, how it works with Northcraft Analytics particularly now that there's the new live connection capability. Uh, in the next video, I'd like to show you how Mashup works, uh, so you can see that. But um, you know, I think what we've already seen from Microsoft is impressive, and I really look forward to some of the next uh, you know, uh, capabilities that they're going to bring to bear. Uh, one, I should point this out right at the end before I uh, finish, is that we can import custom visualizations from the community, which is great. Um, and also with the Microsoft uh, Revolution Analytics uh, acquisition, we're starting to see the R script potential built in. So much more to show in upcoming videos, but I wanted to give you a brief tour um, and, and show you how quickly some of these visualizations can be built. Um, thank you for your time, and let us know if you have any questions.